Okay. And so he's just going to uh, grab onto this thing, get some of that form and force closure we talked about, and he's going to line up those rails and slide it in. That is one person doing a three-person task, and that's what the exoskeleton can unlock in many different industries that we're really excited about. Why don't you uh, show us what you can do? Do some work Thanks. for us. Sounds good. We'll start with this 80 pound pelican case. How about that? Sounds good to me. So what does that feel like, Fletcher, lifting 80 pounds? Uh, so it's about 8 pounds in each hand, so a lot less than 80 pounds. And as you can tell, I'm speaking pretty clearly, so I'm definitely not straining myself at all. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's very light. Um, yeah, it magnifies my strength quite a bit. An operator in, in the robot is actually having the weight transfer through the robot, so it's not on their back. It's not, it, it is significantly reducing any burden on the muscle. They only feel what we want them to feel. So what do I mean by that? If you lift a 200 pound load, and let's say that you have a 20 to one reduction, they're only feeling, in that case, 10 pounds. The demonstration that you saw in there where he was lifting um, 80, 100, 125 pounds, um, we've lifted up to 200 pounds. Those types of tasks where you're lifting and walking use uh, currently, in the current state of the prototype and the alpha, um, is about 500 watts. Now we have made some changes. We expect that to actually by January to take about another 80 watts out of that. So call it about 400, 425 watts. There um, are not many robots in the world that are as efficient as what we're doing. The amount of data that this machine can produce uh, every single second is just astounding. And so I personally find that very cool. And I also personally see that as a great foundation for how much more we can do in the future. Thank mm -hmm. you.